This nasal spray is used to numb the mouth before dental procedures on certain teeth. It contains two ingredients, tetracaine and oxymetazoline. Tetracaine is a local anesthetic that blocks nerves, causing temporary numbness. Oxymetazoline narrows blood vessels in the nose area, helping the tetracaine work better. It is important to use this medication as directed by your dentist. The usual dosage is one spray in each nostril. It is best to use this spray about 30 minutes before your dental procedure. When using Covenay's nasal spray syringe, your dental professional will direct you to administer two sprays into the nose on the same side as the tooth where the dental procedure will take place. These two sprays are typically given four to five minutes apart. Your dentist may then test drill the tooth to check if the area is numb. If the area is not numb 10 minutes after the second spray, one more spray may be given. It is important to follow your dentist's instructions carefully for the best results. If you experience a runny or stuffy nose, nasal discomfort or pain, mild nosebleeds, watery eyes, numb or sore throat, headache, dizziness, or a change in sense of taste, it may be a side effect of Covenay's nasal spray syringe. If these effects persist or worsen, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist. Remember, your dentist has prescribed this medication because they believe the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. However, it's still important to be aware of any serious side effects, such as trouble swallowing or nasal ulcers, and to notify your doctor or dentist immediately if you experience these. In rare cases, a serious allergic reaction may occur. If you notice symptoms such as a rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help right away. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. And of course, if you have any concerns about the medication, always consult with your healthcare provider. Before using Covenay's nasal spray syringe, make sure to inform your doctor if you are allergic to tetracaine, oxymetazoline, or other cane anesthetics. Also, let them know of any other allergies you may have. This product may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions. Before using this medication, inform your doctor or pharmacist of your medical history, especially if you have high blood pressure, thyroid disease, frequent nosebleeds, or a certain blood disorder called methemoglobinemia. This medication may cause dizziness, and alcohol or marijuana can intensify this effect. Avoid driving or using machinery until you can do so safely. Limit alcoholic beverages and talk to your doctor if you are using marijuana, cannabis. Inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products, before having surgery. If you are pregnant, only use this medication when clearly needed, and discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It is unknown if this product passes into breast milk, so consult your doctor before breastfeeding. When using Covenay's nasal spray syringe, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions. These interactions can affect how your medications work and may increase your risk for serious side effects. It's crucial to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. In particular, be cautious of using other nasal products while using Covenay's nasal spray syringe. It's recommended to avoid using other products that also contain oxymetazoline for 24 hours before using this medication. This will help to avoid any potential interactions and ensure the effectiveness of Covenay's nasal spray syringe. Remember to always follow your doctor's guidance when using this medication. If someone has taken too much Covenay's nasal spray syringe and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center for assistance. This medication should not be shared with others. Covenay's nasal spray is used to numb the nose and upper teeth before a medical procedure. It is used in adults and children who are at least 88 pounds. This medicine will not cause loss of consciousness. Covenay's nasal spray is typically used just before a medical procedure. 
follow your doctor's dosing instructions very carefully. The usual dose is 4 sprays into each nostril, for a total of 8 sprays. It's important to store Covenay's nasal spray syringe at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Make sure to keep it out of the bathroom and away from children and pets. When it comes to discarding the product, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Instead, properly discard it when it is expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.